Welcome to HEB's Retail Support Centers. We are dedicated to making safety a priority. You, as our contractor partner, are important to our success. Therefore, we have developed this video presentation to inform you of the possible safety and health hazards that may be related to your specific job tasks. We ask that you follow all warning signs, use the safe work practices, and good judgment while working in our facilities. And please, make safety your priority. OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, and EPA, U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, have regulations for ensuring the safety of contractors. The regulations include contractors that work on or adjacent to anhydrous ammonia systems that contain more than 10,000 pounds of ammonia. The contractor must be informed of the potential dangers that could occur while in our facility. We want to ensure that you are aware of any potential danger that could occur while in our facility and how you should respond in the event of an emergency. Upon entering the plant, you will be asked to sign in with the guard at the entrance gate and sign out upon exiting the premises. You may park in the designated parking area as instructed by the security guard. HEB San Antonio, Texas complex has convenient shuttle service that transports contractors to and from the job site. Please look for the load and offload signs. If your job requires the use of heavy machinery or equipment, you may obtain a permit from the security guard to drive into the facility. All vehicles are subject to search when entering and upon leaving the complex. Our speed limit is 15 miles per hour. You must be at least 18 years of age to enter the complex. The use of cameras, video and recording devices are not permitted without written permission. No firearms or weapons of any kind are allowed inside the complex. Carrying these items inside the complex will result in permanent dismissal from the premises. Alcoholic beverages and illegal substances are strictly forbidden. HEB has a strict alcohol and drug policy that must be adhered to. Upon entering the gate, please be cautious of tractor trailers and tug trailers that are moving about the complex. Yield them the right of way. Please observe all warning signs. Yield at pedestrian crossings. Use caution when proceeding. Pedestrians have the right of way. If you are walking inside the complex, utilize the pedestrian walkways when available. Our complex has multiple facilities. If your job requires you to work in more than one plant, you must sign in at each of the locations that you will be working. Enter the front door of the plant and sign in on the log sheet. Do not enter through the rear door. The rear door is for emergency evacuation only. It is important that we know you entered a plant, what time you entered, and if you are still in the plant in the event of an emergency. When leaving the plant, you must sign out. Signing in and out of the plant when you are working must be done daily. Contractors failing to sign in and out might be asked to permanently leave the complex. Our plant has safety and health hazards that are specific to the facility. Prior to performing work on site, you must meet with the safety manager or your job site coordinator. Smoking is allowed in designated areas only. Smoking is not allowed in or around ammonia refrigeration systems, battery charging areas, warehouse areas, around propane powered equipment, on the roof or in the engine room. There are smoking areas located throughout the complex. Eating is permitted only in the break rooms located throughout the complex. If you are working at the facility, please refer to HEB's Safety Program Manual as you must comply with HEB's Safety Program Manual. This manual was given to you prior to your bid and award of your contract. Hard hats and safety glasses are mandatory. A facility orientation and weekly safety meetings are mandatory for all employees and subcontractors you bring on site. Also, you must comply with the drug and alcohol testing required in the safety program manual. You are required to wear the following personal protection equipment while working on or adjacent to the ammonia refrigeration system. Slip resistant boots, steel toed boots are preferred. Shoes must cover the entire foot. High heels and open toed shoes are not allowed. Clothing with sleeved shirts, hearing protection, 
glasses with side shields, no contact lenses, splash-proof chemical safety goggles and ammonia respirator escape packs, beards and any facial hair that could prevent the proper seal in ammonia escape respirators are prohibited. Hard hats may be required for working in our facility. Additional personal protective equipment may be required for the job in which you will be performing. If you are not sure what PPE is required, ask your job site coordinator. If the use of a respirator is required, you must be fit tested and trained for the appropriate respirator for the job for which you will be performing. The training and respirator equipment must be provided by your employer. Confined space, lockout tagout, and hot work permit procedures must be followed. If you will be performing work that requires entry into a confined space on electrical equipment or performing hot work, you must have a permit. Ask your job site coordinator or plant manager to direct you to the individual administrator of the permits. Permits are good for one working day or shift and must be renewed. Please do not perform work prior to going through the proper procedures. You must have an approved and charged fire extinguisher present while performing hot work. You must have a written permit prior to drilling, trenching, or performing underground excavating of any kind. If you bring chemicals on site, you are required to store and dispose of the chemicals in accordance with local, state, and federal regulations that are applicable. You must provide HEB with a copy of the MSDS for any chemical products brought on site. Under no circumstance should anything be pumped, dumped, or poured down the storm drains. Unauthorized access into the tank farms and CIP areas are not permitted. Do not operate, turn, or remove any valves in our facility without prior authorization. There are certain areas of the complex that have strict sanitary controls and require hairnets and smocks to be worn. You are not allowed to enter these areas without the supervision and approval of the production manager of the facility. Temperatures range from 30 degrees below to 65 degrees Fahrenheit in our cold storage areas. Utilize caution when working in these areas. Wear insulated clothing, overcoats and gloves, take scheduled breaks, and be cautious of the length of time you spend in this area. Forklifts are used throughout the complex. Treat this equipment as dangerous and take precautions to stay clear of moving loads. Give forklift drivers the right of way and plenty of space to maneuver around the area in which they are working. They may have limited vision. A forklift driver must have spotters on either side of the load in which he or she has limited vision. Forklift drivers must be certified to operate the equipment. Do not operate any equipment in our complex without proper training, certification, and approval. Follow the ladder safety instructions that are located on the ladder for proper angle and use. Never step onto the top step of a ladder. Use ladders that are in good condition. When climbing to heights of four feet or higher, you must wear an OSHA approved safety harness for tying off. If working on the roof six feet or less from the edge, you must use an OSHA approved fall arrest system. Floors and walkways may be slippery. Use caution when walking. Horseplay is absolutely prohibited. You should utilize professional conduct at all times while working in our facility. We are required to follow specific OSHA and EPA guidelines. Some of our facilities utilize anhydrous ammonia, acids, caustics, and liquid natural gas. You should contact the facility's safety coordinator regarding the chemicals that are used in the area in which you will be working and locate the MSDS that pertain to these chemicals. There are certain health hazards that could occur if you are overexposed to ammonia. It is important that you know what the hazards are and have knowledge on how to respond if an event occurs. Ammonia is an irritant and corrosive substance to skin, eyes, respiratory tract, and mucous membranes, and they cause severe burns, eye and lung injuries, and skin and respiratory related diseases. Overexposure to the eyes can cause tearing, swelling, and or blindness. Overexposure to the skin can cause irritation, corrosive burns, or blister formations. Contact with liquid ammonia will freeze the skin tissue, then produce a caustic burn. Inhalation or heavy acute exposure 
may result in severe irritation of the respiratory system and may cause respiratory arrest. Chronic effects of bronchitis and extreme exposure of 300 parts per million can cause immediate death from spasm, inflammation, and swelling to the larynx. For further information on ammonia, please refer to the material safety data sheets located in the engine room and warehouse area of the facility or contact our safety department. There are emergency shower and eyewash stations located throughout our facility. Locate these stations prior to beginning work. If you are exposed to ammonia, you should proceed as follows. Skin contact. Proceed to the nearest wash station and flush with large amounts of water for at least 15 minutes. Remove contaminated clothing and shoes. Eye contact. Proceed to the nearest eye wash station and flush with large amounts of water for 15 minutes while holding your eyelids apart and away from your eyeballs. Speed and thoroughness in rinsing the eye is most important in preventing permanent injury. If ingested, give large amounts of water to the individual to drink. In essence, when you think you have used a lot of water, use more. And in all of the above cases, seek immediate medical attention. If you were working in an area and smell the distinctive odor of ammonia, report it to the plant manager of the plant immediately or your job site coordinator. If you have an incident, near miss or accident while working in our facility, it is required that you report it to your job site coordinator. The incident will be investigated and proper measures immediately taken to prevent a future accident. If you see a situation that could pose a possible danger, please make the plant manager or site coordinator immediately aware of it. HEB has a specialized hazmat team to respond to emergencies. If you are in an area and see a problem, report it immediately by calling the following number from your cell phone. Call 210-938-8500. Give your name, location, building number and or aisle, type of occurrence, and as much information as possible, including the number of potential injuries. Do not attempt to control the situation. Our hazmat team is trained to respond. Please follow the instructions given to you after you have reported the incident. Each plant at the HEB complex has an emergency evacuation. Posters are posted at the main entrance of each plant and on safety bulletins. Be sure to locate the closest evacuation point to your work area prior to starting work. In the event of an evacuation, proceed crosswind, then upwind. Please notice the direction of the wind according to the wind socks that are strategically placed in the complex. Remember, going downwind will prolong your exposure. If you proceed crosswind and then upwind, you will escape the ammonia cloud more quickly. Our plants are equipped with specific alarms for emergencies. Ask your job site coordinator what alarms you would hear and or see in the event of an emergency evacuation. At HEB, we urge you to be smart about safety. Use good judgment and common sense. Take your safety and the safety of others seriously. These safety and health rules were created for you. For more information concerning safe work practices at our facility, contact the Plant Safety Manager or the Risk Management Department at 210-938-4950 or HEB Environmental Affairs at 210-938-6510. Be cautious. Be aware of potential dangers around you at all times, and be safe. Safety is everyone's responsibility, especially yours.